we've said that the application's architecture conditions, among other things, the way that they're programmed. In this module, we'll focus on web applications that'll run on a thin client. So far, we've been developing mainly the travel agency's web back office application. That is, the application for company employees will navigate through the data according to hierarchical views, such as those provided by the screens created by the work with pattern. These will allow the manipulating of data, making additions, in other words, insertions, deletions, and modifications through transactions. In addition, users will want to run PDF lists, workflows, and queries according to different filters and view the information grouped in different ways to make decisions according to the user's permissions, so they must log in, among other things. At the end of this section of the course that we're starting now, we'll see how everything we've discussed and what we'll study here is integrated to obtain a visually appealing back office that offers a smooth experience to users with screens and intuitive and fast navigation. So far, we've interacted with two types of screens, that of the transaction object that allows manipulating the data in the database, and that of the object generated by the work with pattern to display information and run queries and user actions based on what's displayed there. The two screens we saw in the pattern, the selection screen and the display screen, correspond to the object that we'll study next, the web panel object. Every screen that the user interacts with, whether it's a transaction or a web panel, has a visual part that's displayed in the browser and belongs to the front end of the application. Also, they have a logical part that's a little bit on the client and much more on the server, the back end, especially the one related to data retrieval and manipulation, as well as heavy processing. It must be made clear that even though we make this distinction between front end and back end, in fact, the Genexus objects program everything on both sides in a transparent way for the developer. So, once the developer chooses what kind of application to develop, he doesn't have to worry about this. We'll understand it here. First, we'll study the web panel object focusing more on its logic, and then we'll talk about the UI and UX in reference to the design system. In this section, we'll focus on the back office that is completely fragmented for now. Our home page is the developer menu, which is simply a menu with all the objects with interface that we've created in Genexus and that can be directly invoked because they don't receive parameters. Obviously, to obtain the back office application, we'll have to replace this developer menu by implementing a main object home, and there, all its design and logic. In this course, we'll only make an initial overview of all this. Let's begin.